everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Joel McDowell. Today I'll be using this pretty blue, light blue color here for a background. It's my Satin Enamel by Art Deco. Beautiful color. It was on clearance so I picked up a few of those babies. I'm going to be mixing it three parts flood flow troll, one part paint. Here's my colors here I'm using. Now I'm organizing them for you because I'm showing you the metallics are satin enamel by Art Deco. The other three colors are uh, Artist Law. So they're mixed to about a two consistency. But I'm going to do a consistency test here real quick before I show you how I do it. Put about a couple drops, about the size of a dime of each color. background color. It should be a little thicker. So I'm going to hold it up for five seconds. Here we go. Okay, they look pretty uniform, but the magentas, the magenta and the red need just a little dash of water. So be careful here, just a few drops. Stir it up real good. And we're good to go. So here's the canvas I'm using. 15 by 30 artist loft. Gallery wrap. I got taped off and a little piece of cardboard in there just to give a little support to the center of the canvas so my paint doesn't pool so, so much in the middle. Now we're ready to go. So I'm going to be putting my colors in a split cup. First I wanted to show you that I'm using some flood pin troll as an activator, cell activator, in just these two colors here. The turquoise green and the turquoise blue. So now I'm loading up my split cup, which is a plastic cup with a cardboard divider that I cut out. I try not to load opposite colors on top of each other. It could be side by side, that's fine. There's my split cup, it's all ready to go. I'm going to put that aside for now and deal with getting my background on my canvas. Here we go, I'm pulling out the divider nice and slow. Decide and get ready to pour your ribbon pour.
I get a little crazy, so I mixed up some black satin enamel art deco. And I put uh, some pentol in it. And I'll be doing that in a sec. A couple streaks. And you'll see some major cell action. We're going back and forth with streaks of magenta and then streaks of red directly on top of it. When it dries, when it's finished, it's kind of a, almost a blurry, blinding type of sensation on your eyes. The red directly on top of magenta is pretty cool. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Here goes the black. some cell reaction so you want to disturb the paint. also want to get rid of some of the paints. So when I tip it in this direction I'm being very careful to just tip it a little bit at a time and then work it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Otherwise the lines start breaking up and you just got a mess. Which mess is going to be cool too. Got a lot of those on. to see the color popping through the black. I add a few more of those streaks. Now this is different paint that I used. It's the same type of paint, but I put uh, coconut oil in it instead of intro which is very interesting because we got cells but instead of having cells all the way across the black area it was just on the outside edges which I thought was unusual. Very unusual painting. I like it. I think it's cool. It's very different. There's a lot to soak in. Really appreciate you guys watching, tuning in. 
I'm going to have a new one on here every week, hopefully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my website sometime. Thanks again to the Surf Zombies for providing the music.